Evans Omulubi, the senior sub-chief in Lindi sub-location, Kibra constituency, and Humphrey Lando, a child protection officer, were the faces behind the government's 100% transition policy in Kibra. They combed through homes and every village in a bid to make sure that all candidates who sat KCP last year have transitioned to high school. Natuka kwamba tumepeleka watoto shule. Ata wengine wenye wamepita, tumefanya chuchini, wani wenye wameshindu hata kuenda. Tumejaruba hata kuongea na some of private schools in our locality. Wame, wamechukua watoto, tumehakikisha kwamba mtoto tuwa tunatafuta hata, tunachanga, hata tunatafuta hata school, nini, school uniform. Watoto wengi wanataka kusoma. Lakini kwa sababu wanaonanga wazazo hawajiwezi, wanaamua ku give up na ndo wanaingia kwa hali ya wizi. Lakini kwa sasa, hatu kiangalia kibira, si ile kibira, kiraimu imerudi chini, na wazazo wamejitokesa, vile unaona umati ya watu, hizo ni basari. Tuko hapa juu yao na tuwasaidia wende sule. The chief narrating how their mission involved collaboration of Nyumba Kumi initiative, elders, kathis, pastors and even community radios in the area to guarantee success. Pia ninaongea na bwana imamu. Nitangasia msikitini saa kumi na moja asuhui na pia jioni saa kumi, pia saa saba saa kumi. Na nitangasia kwamba butoto une mwenye ajafika shuneni. Taftane na mama ama mzee wa Nyumba Kumi. Apayane reporti pade. Any chief apart access ya kumpata. And on Tuesday, Education CS George Magoha was in Kibra to close the exercise. He would confirm that admission of candidates into high school, which began on the 13th of January, has seen a successful placement of 1,058,088 students into high school. Uh, been able to trace all the children that took uh, part in the national exams, and uh, we have achieved uh, 99. Yet a good number remains unaccounted for. Naomi Regina, who scored 365 marks in last year's KCP exam, is among the 0.2% yet to be enrolled. I got marks 362 and I was called Anka Valley. I was in school and my mother was in school in December. I was in school. Magoha calling on the local administrations to remain vigilant and ensure such children go to school. Cognizant of the strain the numbers will have on school infrastructure across the country, Magoha said that some 8.2 billion shillings has been set aside to boost infrastructure. Let me take this opportunity to warn all and sundry that none of this 8.2 billion is available to be stolen. None of this 8.2 billion is available for us to inbreed. So if you have a company and you work for the Ministry of Education and its related agencies, don't apply because we shall catch you. And if we catch you, we are not going to be sympathetic with you. Magoha called upon the county government, CDF and even private entities to come together and help build capacity of schools. 99.8% of children who sat last year's examination have transited to high schools. 8 billion shillings now set aside for infrastructure development. A key component in ensuring that all these children are not just accommodated, but that there is quality education in our schools. Reporting from Kibra, my name is Caroline Kamau.